this full bridge that I'm still probably gonna run this coil on I need a better top load also I need to enclose this some type of way because I just can't have it sitting like it is running because it's way too close to the driver and everything upgraded to a 500 volt capacitor it's only 1300 microfarad but that was about the budget I wanted to deal with I added just because a two microfarad snubber cap so this is actually a legit snubber but right now I'm not taking advantage full advantage of the terminals I've just got some thick leads soldered on running down the other addition is just that you know aside from now I'm running off primary feedback this is my uh, MMC so these are some CDE caps four in series 150 nanofarad each that's something like like you know what 37 nanofarad so that's the current layout in a box there it's the current primary and uh, I think it's about close to 170 kilohertz so I had to change things around a little bit to account for uh, too high of a coupling I originally had Honestly, I just wasn't able to tune this primary setup to my liking. So I'm wondering if maybe I needed to change my MMC up and go with maybe fewer turns. Because right now I'm at 8 kV. It's not really necessary. And it's about 37 nanofarads. So I'm thinking maybe I should bump that to 4 kV. You know, something closer to like 70, 75 nanofarad. I don't know if that make too much of a difference. So basically what I ended up doing was not really liking the output at 120 VAC max or 170 DC so I just put a voltage doubler on it since the whole point was to run it from higher voltage anyway. I've got a little bootleg voltage doubler down here so I'm just gonna run it at like 340. This right here is pretty close to what I was getting at 120 VAC. You know, it's nothing really amazing. Uh, so again, it's kind of pissing me off. And this is what I get when I crank it all the way up. Uh, immediately uh, strikes the little ground I've got down there. But this goes back into where I might want to get a different ground. Because the second I did that, my uh, computer monitor went off, which I've still got on, on over here. Again, that's a little better than what I'm used to, but it's still not quite what I think it should be at that voltage. That's a 200 microsecond on time, too, so that's, that's pretty up there. not bad it actually kicks out some pretty good arcs it's kind of hard to get a scale at this distance um, and I bet you know it probably could strike the ground if I set the needle out to the side and moved it somewhere with a, a ground a big big enough ground to strike to I'm not really fine-tuning the primary just sort of dropping down turns until I got in the ballpark but so far it's been kind of hard getting that helical primary tuned I mean at, at this point I'm just like screw it let me just leave it where it's at but I don't think that's the best spot